Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Rise of the Robots campaign. Uh, one that is surprisingly difficult due to the lack of um, any yeah, proper utilization of the Covert Ops missions. We are far, far uh, behind on the Covert Ops missions. We do not have enough resistance orders and issues are just starting to pile up on and on and on. On top of that, uh, due to our specific build order, which was required for this challenge, we had a pretty rough start. And although the fights themselves are becoming easier, the advent doom clock is definitely by far the biggest problem that we're currently facing. So gotta do something about that. Operation Stone Hydra might be the turning point. We're fighting against loss. We're trying to get as much alarium and alien alloys as possible because then we can build another uh, spark which will help us and that's pretty much it that's really what we need to do at this point and we will also need to use the school jack because as you can see the avatar project is relentlessly ticking down we're already at 22 days so six days are gone now, let's remove all of uh, the invalid classes. Good. We're taking... We're taking rookies that do have a bond with one another. Hayward and Toxic. Wonderful. Halop is tired, but I think I do not care that much. Halop and VDM are both going to join. And I think that's pretty much it. We didn't have much more available. So, in terms of just getting this done, we got one, two, three proper weapons. Flashbang grenade. And let's give uh, Hayward a proper weapon as well. We're going to take the skull jack. Just out of curiosity, do we have weapon upgrades that would be valuable? Yes, hair trigger definitely would be valuable. And an advanced stock, because why not? Good, got another weapon set up for our beloved mech. I think we're going to go with, I like that uh, we probably should have taken the advanced stock in here. Let's use a hair trigger. That way, that way we might get another action out of uh, him. Okay, so it's rookies only plus a spark, guys. Because, guess what? Our Templar is currently doing covert ops missions. Uh, we do not have any other way of doing them. And I don't want the run to basically fail. So it's really Rise of the Robots now. No Psy characters available at this point. Guess who is landing? Oh, the good old frame drop when we're landing. I've never fixed that. No matter how good the PC is, there's always a frame drop when you're landing. Good. 11 boxes. If we could get half of that, I would be happy, to be honest couple of supply crates here there's a long highway here i know that particular map i've played it quite often it seems that this is not entirely random yeah there is this inner area where a lot of losts are usually located Hayward is moving in. 
Primus, our spark, now got a call sign. It is calling itself Vector. I like it. BDM is moving in. Russ is moving in. On it. And Toxic is the one with the school jack. Might as well put him relatively to the front. There will be a codex that is spawning after killing someone uh, with a skull jack, but that's okay. Or we can live with that. We got enough tools at our disposal at this point. I like to think that this package over there is only one that we could take. I can also go over here. Good. We're taking uh, seats over here because there are more packages there. Taking seats over here and on the balcony. Stepping off. All right, Vector can move all the way to the window. Seeing quite a few losses down there. If I was to take a guess, I would say the Advents are more in this direction, so Toxic is going to go towards the front. And we're nearly in position. Copy that. Good. Let's take a good look. We definitely got some chests down there. Understood. Moving out. Heading there now. Very well. Moving to designated Moving to full cover. Unfortunately, we're being spotted out. That's not the best way to start it. Luckily, we followed the advice to only take blue moves first. And we're going to block the ladder over here. Killing the first. Down. Good, we're starting to take them down one by one. Don't need to mark the crates yet. We're going to see if there is indeed a Chosen somewhere in here. Let's take a look. There is an Advent Pack. Okay, we've just solidly triggered that. This here is a target for a school check. Okay. All right. All right, okay.
This might be a good way to start. Spectre is almost down. We can still use a mimic beacon. Not fully run down. Would be nice to hit them with a grenade, but that's unfortunately not going to work. This is the guy we need to school check. This is our first Mimic Beacon, so we're probably going to use this one. That's affirmative. This here uh, gets us a bit closer to the target that we need to school check. Probably could have also moved right over here so that we could have jumped down. But I think we're still close enough. Got an overwatch, got another overwatch, and we're mimic beaconing right here. That's a single hit. This guy leaves his, co his cover. Flamer starts doing what the Flamer really d uh, does really well, which is killing the loss. Have we just triggered another pack? Oh yeah, wonderful. So what is he doing? Oh, he's just trying to move up. Okay, cool. I think we got a second Mimic Beacon. Just keeping that in mind. Because I'm almost of the opinion we will need to use it. Let's start with a couple of the No Regret moves this year. Blue screen, yep. We could scroll jack, which is fine. It's a decent start. We could also hit the Mac. So Let's see, how can we get closer to these guys and still have a chance of hitting them? Hmm. Just a moment. 
I think this here can serve multiple purposes. Number one, we're going on to overdrive. <clears throat> and we're getting rid of uh, the guys that are just in a really bad position for us. Advent Shield Bearer, almost done. In terms of rocket launcher, this is exactly the type of extra large explosion that you're looking for. That'll be a 2 for one if we play it right. Could also hit the other side. We have nothing here. Might as well carefully move towards this crate and save the rocket for the other flank. You know, if we're hitting, if we're not hitting, then this is a bit pointless. All right, full cover. We do have the blue screen rounds. Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. In that case, change of plans. Sets a single one shot. Running dry. And this here might be a triple. Close. Now we can't hit it f completely, but this here would be a double. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Okay, we could move all the way up here. <clears throat> and this is our mimic beacon. Spectre could be killed otherwise. We sacrifice a chest, we could kill this guy, or alternatively we're just taking a good shot. Didn't work out. Good copy, moving on target. Good, we can we can go with a single Mimic Beacon there. This here is probably the wisest choice. Don't like wasting it, but yeah. That's a two for one. I don't mind the Lost Swarm. Let's just get the dashers out of the way. 
<sighs> it really sucked today. Good, so much for our backup plan. Let's get the dasher out of the way. Not even that worked. Boy, oh boy. We got some phenomenal, phenomenally bad shots. All right, second Mimic Beacon. And we lost the first two crates. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we wanna get the rest. Okay, well, good enough. Good, Mimic Beacon down. Even more losses are coming. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of the loss. But dealing with Advent and the loss at the same time stinks a bit. Don't kill this guy. I need him. Don't kill this guy. I need him as well. Wonderful. The stress of battle is enough to get to anyone. When they get home, we'll have to give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. Good. Let's start with dealing with their loss. Why the hell are we so bad at hitting them? Even ah oh, well, because we're rookies. Well, that's a pretty solid explanation. No further questions, Your Honor. Still can teamwork our way. Okay, cool, good. One, two, three, well, might want to move in and get these guys instead. But I'm getting the vibe that this year is a pretty desperate situation. So safety first. Moving a tiny bit back. Terminated. Ammo levels critical. Lost Dasher. That's what we want to see. Good job. Reloading. Moving in. That's one down. Target eliminated. 
This is 100% kill due to the advanced stock. I think we do not have an auto loader, unfortunately. We could have a pretty decent ambush over here. But this requires to get these guys out of the way first. Unfortunately, I just don't see that happening. Not with 80% hit chances. Well, maybe it is. Who knows? Outloader. Haven't lost any movement. This unfortunately is not good enough. Can we get up somewhere? Yeah, we already took took a beating and I don't want that to become worse as we go. So we're moving up. We're proactively using our teamwork and then we can at least hit a couple of them whilst we're up there. Game seems to freeze. Doesn't like teamwork. Oh, come on. Thank you. Good. Here we go. X-ray neutralized. Shot wide. Ammo's low. All right, BDM. Tries to take a couple of shots as well. Moving into full cover. Alright, I'll let two of them live. Just so that Advent has... three of them live just so that Advent has enough cannon fodder lost lost and lost they're not fast enough to reach us let's get this guy all right good wells is ready we got only two more options Lost back there, cannot be reached. We could move to here and take a shot at it. We also move to here, but we're making ourselves a prime target. hit all of them that's a bit pathetic okay almost yeah apparently it's not possible for me to hit all of them this here will speed up the summoning process of losts. And I would say all things considered we're in a good spot overwatching. That's a good hit. Enemy starts burning and that's okay. 
they will eventually die off. Okay, fair enough. Oh boy, closer mission than I would have expected. Specifically since the Lost are putting up quite a decent fight. Good, we can get over here and get both of the chests. I want to make sure that we're continuing what we came for originally. Doing that at the beginning of the turn, just to make sure that we're not triggering anything. Marking the supplies, very nice. Good, I think so far we haven't really reloaded. So this kill here should still leave us with an autoloader. Enemy down. Out around. So he's still standing next to that. Next to that um, seat. Let's try to get rid of uh, the lost. Unfortunately, minimum damage. And we do have the stock, right? Yeah, advanced stock. So that's 100% kill. Very nice. Down. Moving in. Shredding him nicely. Go and take a full cover there. Done. This guy's burning, so no threat. This here could be a kill. Fortunately, it's not. We could go in, but then we're being flanked. I think we need to let this one go. I think we need to let this one go. I hate to say it, but his position actually stinks. Could move in, could then school jack him, but we do not really have a, another layer of defense. 
full cover here. This here is a flanking position. But it's flankable. This is a flanking position, also flankable. This here is not a flanking position. This here would be a fantastic flanking position. It's not flankable. Unfortunately, it's the only thing that we cannot reach. Hmm. Anything from the other side? Nope. Remove the cover, but that might sp soon spawn more losts. Now I want to take two shots. Because that's a problem as well. Let's go for full cover. We're already marked and I don't want to take any more risk. That was kind of the compromise of not being flanked. Losing the crate, but still removing a piece. All right, we know there is another pack somewhere here. And we unfortunately know there is another swarm. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1-5. Free reload. Let's position ourselves in full cover. Getting a few of the dashers. Reloading. Okay, good. Moving, on target location. Moving up a bit closer. We're still next to this crate. Trying to get the dashers wherever possible. Slowly but surely following up on the sky. Let's reload. Okay, I want to see what exactly is going on. All right, the next pack is a bit further away. That's somewhat reassuring. Advent will continue to just rush in like a madman. I think we, on the other hand, should take the high ground here. Just so that we do have access to the other crates. Uh, keep in mind, we still need a few of them. Alright. 
reloading. Perfect. Good. On the move. We're getting a bit closer. And let's just overwatch for now. More losts, which just means more difficulties. As we are losing a few crates on the way. None of the losts, not a single one decided to follow the advent. That, 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 that sink in for a second. Not a single lost actually followed the advent. Okay, we got some with two hit points, that's a hundred percent kill. Three, that's a hundred percent kill. Thanks to the advanced stock. Good we need the high ground. Without it, it's tough, guys. Time to get the crate. Marking the supplies. And time to do a little bit of a cleanup here. Almost perfect. Good, copy. Moving on target. Good. We're getting the supplies. Let's keep the pack together. Hayward begins to hopefully eliminate a few of them. Reloading and let's continue Moving to designated position. by pulling him over here. VDM joins up with his comrades. Target down. All right, that worked out well. We know there are a couple more advents. Closing on target position now. Momentum is important, which is why we're reloading. Halo is going to overwatch. Hayward is going to move in further. And we know there is another pack in here. So 
So two crates are here. The other crates are potentially somewhere else, maybe up here. Yep, there's another crate up here. Moving over. Haylock moves over. Hayward moves over. Vector definitely needs to reload. Wow, we already used the autoloader. BDM moves a tiny bit further into this direction. We're reloading. Roger that. And yeah, this here is just a security measure I'm on it. to make sure once the next crates are being marked that we get it. Okay. Probably not going to get this one. I think we're going to take the last one and then we're slowly but surely moving towards the last pack which means we got six crates that's more or less what we wanted to do anyways We got a lot of Overwatch going. On Overwatch. Overwatch. What was that? Enemies are moving. And I think we got an Overwatch trap going. Very nice. Viper immediately got downed. Almost immediately got downed. I hate lightning reflexes, and we have no counterplay against them because we don't have any specialists, so we better kill them fast. Swarm is really close, okay. This one here seems like a pretty decent position for us. Let's overdrive. Alright, the indicator, the enemy indicator was off just a tiny bit. We got a stock here in blue screen rounds. Don't want to waste that. Hair trigger and an advanced stock, okay. More blue screen rounds. Spectre. Very nice. Down to what? Three HP. Okay. Headed there now. K 
Can move up to here and maybe kill the snake right away. The EDM moves up. We cannot use the grenade, although it would be lovely to do so. Ross moves up. We gotta stop, right? Yep. Let's kill that Viper. It's 100% kill. We got an advanced stock. Got him. Softening up the Viper and I think we're just gonna offer our I'm on my way. spark be the main target. 0% crit, we cannot kill it, that's perfect. Just want to make sure that he doesn't die, of course. He went for the kill shot. Luckily for us, the rookie survived. And now it's time for the school jack. You guys have been waiting for that for a while. And I will deliver. Perfect. Lovely. Blue screen rounds, yes please. And how about we're just gonna go down, flank it, and then hit it and kill it. Okay, apparently that was not a good idea. More blue screen rounds. Okay. Excellent work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the codex is left behind. Okay, perfect. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the aliens' ongoing plans. All right, reload, Overwatch, reload, Overwatch. The EDM moves in and we're reloading. Good. We, uh, we definitely got half of the crates, even a tiny bit more. Last of the supply crates in this area. Venice 1 5, you're clear for evac. We got what we came for, so don't take any unnecessary chances out there. Yeah, we indeed got what we came for, so let's evac and call it a day. Calling the Sky Ranger.
Solid copy. Good. Solid copy. One. Hayward. Two. BDM. Three. Russ. Four. Toxic. Five. And Vector is going to be the last one. But not before taking out its anger on the remaining losts. So, evac and take care. Wonderful. We got the crates. We got the Skulljack and we killed quite a few enemies without dying so that was good overall a good mission good 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 we landed and we are back Vector did not receive another promotion but I think the rookies did quite well overall all things considered that was fun we got some supplies 36 alien alloys, 20 crystals, that should be enough for another spark. A core and a superior stock. The superior stock is nice. Let's take a look here. Yeah, spark is 10 alarium crystals, so we should definitely do that. It will eat up all of our alloys but so be it. Having yet another spark will certainly help us. In terms of additional Illyrium 10, the upgrade here costs us 15. Yeah, that's too much. It is what it is. We cannot have it all. And before we're now doing the experimental weapon, Let's expedite. Yeah, we are. On the other hand, we can't let that clearing take that much longer. So, in that case, we're taking two additional days here. But we got to do this full force and do it as fast as possible. We need the extra contacts. You have delayed the alien's efforts towards completing the Avatar project. Cool. Commander. We got another engineer. I would say that that is worth scanning for. That's a really valuable resource. My problem is the Avatar project still will continue. Once the major breakthrough is there, we do have a problem. We have a massive problem. So I have no further way to stop the project overall. Shadow Chamber is fantastic. Elarium requires much more Elarium. And yeah, we. I wish we could use a data pad here. Do we have a data pad? Experimental weapons, purifier, berserker. No, no data pad. I was hoping we might get I agree. the access to one of their facilities. Yeah, we could build a shadow chamber that would spawn additional missions. Golden Path, which is not bad, but it wouldn't spawn it in our territory, so it won't so solve our problem. Good. We could use the Frost Bomb, I suppose. That's not bad. This is for defense matrix, also not too bad. Stun Lancer, uh, all of this is completely irrelevant. 
situation. Viper autopsy is somewhat relevant for improved med kits, but since we don't have med kits, it's again not really relevant. Might as well take this here for uh, just for the uh, defense metrics. And this is the problem that you have with the psionic rush yet again. Or since we pumped all of our Elarium into both the Psy uh, um, Rush and our Sparks, we're now stuck on the mid tier. And that's okay if you want to, if you know how to play with it. But if you want uh, just endgame weapons, it's more efficient to go for Plasma and just blast through it. And then afterwards get the additional Sparks and the additional psyops so let's continue with uh, viper we don't really need those autopsies we got all of the important ones already done one more day until the supply drop and that supply drop will help us to excavate faster Good, let's see. Permanently lowering income, not a problem. Permanently lowering income, not a problem. Sabotaging the avatar might be an issue. So the breakthrough hasn't occurred yet and the fact that it still shows here means we have one more chance to, to counter it. Although that new construction here is bad as well. It just is really, really bad. Reducing this here means... If worse comes to worst, in two weeks they constructed, then this event happens and then another facility is being constructed. This would be horrible. Together with a major breakthrough, not good. We're probably still going to counter the breakthrough. And excavation speed needs to increase. Can't really remove this. You can see it's locked because we're at the maximum. Uh, but we gotta improve the excavation speed. Do we need money right now? We're okay. With a fast excavation speed, this at least is going to go a bit smoother. Another spark is soon there. And what are our options? Do we have reduction? Can recruit another Templar? Hmm. Well, we're going to get new options here. The Templar isn't bad. I was honestly hoping that we would get a counter probably need to do the locator, uh, location of this faction here just so that we have a chance for the resistance order that reduces the avatar project monthly by one blip that's with the skirmishers i'm just trying to ta uh, take whatever i i can get at this point Good. We now know there is a strong alien guarding it. Makes it just worse. So in terms of timing, how do we want to do that? Still very greedy to go for eight additional days, then build it and then start contact. Let's hope we find different ways of reducing the Avatar project. As it stands, we have a problem. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. We've recovered another crucial piece of information about the job. Cool. So three power for the adventure. Not really something that we need. Gain ability points is fine. Still can't do that we will need more f influence this here wouldn't be bad 
because it allows us to get dodge. This here wouldn't be bad either. Hogbite is the only one who can do the mission, so at this point I am committed to do it. Might as well start locating this faction. And then afterwards we're improving this relationship here so that we can recruit another Templar. Also, it will lead us to her stronghold and that theoretically gives us the option to to kill her. Recruit a scientist is fantastic, but we don't need more scientists. Uh, this is a basic promotion for Hogbite in six days. That's not bad either. It's actually pretty good by thinking about it. Plus, Intel is what we need. We can still do that afterwards. Let's locate the faction first. Hogbite is going to do that. And he is going to be accompanied, accompanied by Maximilian Richter. Still can't speed that up. Yeah, the RNG is not really working in our favor and I don't want to complain but on the strategic layer it is compounding against us quite a bit. I'm trying to get at least one feet on the ground and it seems as if every decision that I'm taking makes it even a bit more difficult. Well, this here is a good mission for another engineer, 104 Intel, which we definitely need. So this package here is fantastic. The specialist is a waste for us and it seems to be only lost. So that's a very easy mission. Let's take a look at what we would get. We would have two more engineers, so that's up to seven then. One from the strategic layer, one from the mission. That could speed th these activities up. And yeah, the clearing, we could continue with clearing yet another uh, set and building the extra contacts. So that's not bad. Yeah, we need, we need more contacts. That's really the main issue at this point. Everything else is fine. Once I do have access to more contacts, we will eventually also work our way through the intel and just continue to build. We probably need to spend a lot of supplies just to to make contact with every uh, everyone and build towers, but that's okay. I can live with that. North America bonus is to immediately make contact, so once we do have North America, it will spiral in our way and we're not going to lose more time but as it stands at the moment we're in a pretty tough spot because it's just one dark event um, away from having a full doom clock and at the moment not a real plan to counter that good we got one spark that has made it to Knight's rank, that's okay, but we can do better. We could use a few promotions more on Hogbite, just so that he essentially becomes that monster that we're looking for. Oh boy, and Roby is the only one in psionic training so far. So we gotta speed this up as well. Too many things that we're trying to do and usually uh, you see that your strategy is not fully working out well if there are just too many decisions that you need to take and all of them are only mediocrely good 
If you take the normal path that the game is giving you, which is expand, get your weapons upgraded, get your armor upgraded, get your weapons upgraded, get your armor upgraded, build a couple of standard items and just have the four basic classes with all of the equipment. That in itself is incredibly strong and it's still by far the strongest path to just beat the game normally. Everything else is kind of you can mix it in, but if you only take those side objectives like Psy and Sparks and completely ignore the normal classes, then, and I'm learning this in this run, it gets surprisingly hard to just, yeah, use the normal mechanics like the resistance ring because all of a sudden you only have one hero class and that's it. And at the point in time when your psionic characters are high enough to actually do resistance ring missions, the game is so far um, uh, in the running that you better make sure that you have your bases covered. So the Psy Rush, Psy Lab Rush is even worse than I... Um, then I had it in mind. I did it in the basic XCOM 2 game, but here with the resistance ring, there's even more opportunity cost that you need to consider when doing it. So uh, I, I'm i still not convinced that that's a great strategy, but we're now going to stick to it and we're going to see through it until the bitter, bitter end. Let's see what else we can do. Nothing really. Um, Still hesitant to uh, get rid of the resistance ring. I still think that this is helpful because we have locked ourselves into those four contexts and I don't want to lose the region. That would suck and throw us back even further. So can't really get rid of uh, the resistance ring. Once this here is cleared, we'll eventually get to those seven contexts. And we do have enough intel. Now we're getting another hundred intel. So it's just a matter of making contact fast enough and then rushing into the uh, facilities and yeah then we can hopefully press down that advent timer and get everything a little bit back to normal <sighs> but it is going to be a wild ride anyways guys if you enjoy uh, the content feel free to leave a like and a comment down below that is all i'm asking for and we're going to see each other in the next mission. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.